Hey, it's been a while since I've recorded some uh, Affinity, but here we go again. Got into another league. This hand looks good. So, uh, I've been really looking forward to Dominaria. I think Karn um, Scion of Urza might be an incredibly powerful card for this deck. So, I will be testing that as soon as it comes out on Magic Online. Or at least as soon as Karn is at, you know, some relatively reasonable amount of ticket price, as opposed to the first hour ticket price, which is bound to be enormous. Um. But uh, I, th I think Karn is going to solve a lot of the problems that we had with Grindier decks that had Wraths. Um, since Karn is an incredibly potent threat that survives Wraths and kind of gives us enough card advantage to recover from them. Uh, so I think it's going to greatly help our blue-white control matchup and um, also to a lesser extent a lot of the other grindier type matchups. Uh, and then our only big worries after that are like Storm and other stuff, but because we improve our grindy matchups so much by having the Karns, we can start cutting some of the sideboard cards that were used for other matchups and devote them to beating like graveyard and combo decks and other stuff like that. And so that might have a ripple effect and make all of our matchups better, even the ones where Karn isn't directly good. I mean, this is a speculation since I haven't been able to play with the cards, but even speculation can be useful. I just think we do get to four mana often enough that um, playing Karn on turn two or turn three uh, yeah people aren't playing Dredge anymore, they're all playing Hollow Ones. Um, What was I saying? Just the card advantage that Karn gives, I think, is going to be so important. So this is a hollow one on a bench line, I think. You know, some games I would be afraid of this start, but, uh, yeah, not this one. <laughs> sure, I'll take four. And he can take twelve. Or chump with his hollow one. Am I just dead here? 
is he going to play a Bushwhacker? And... Let's see. 10... 18. All right, all right. That's uh, that's some damage. It's not enough to win him the game, but that is sort of impressive. I'll trim the etch champions. Get like a whip flare. Or rest in peace. Keep one of the champions. The problem with the hollow one decks is it's kind of hard to sideboard properly against them because sometimes you want the rest in peace, sometimes you want the whip flare, and sometimes you want the etch champion. And it really depends. The black red hollow one version is easier because you definitely want the rest in pieces, but the red green version, you only want the rest in piece against like Vengevine. So it feels like it's easy to overboard, but you also want to have the tools available to you. I mean, really, you just want to have a draw like the one I had last time where you're just playing, you know. Scourge into a master into a, a plating. Swinging for a bunch of lifelink. Turn one overseer is also pretty good. If you can do it. Oh, so close. So close. Yeah. Can't keep that. Can't keep that. Well, this is a hand. Yeah, I actually do want the welding jar. Like, I can't, I can't scry that to the bottom, praying for a. Uh, um, What's the word? I can't scry to the bottom hoping for an opal, which is the only particularly better draw that I could have. Is there any reason for me to run out the opal ornithopter here? Not particularly. There's no draw I could make where I would attack with it next turn. There's no draw heat. No creature he could play except for Swift Spear that would make me want to block with it. And I'd rather not be incentivized to uh, Welding Jar it, because if I play it and he bolts it, it's kind of awkward. So I want to save the Welding Jar for the Overseer. One hollow one. Do we have the two hollow ones? No, we don't. Okay, good. I don't think I can afford to let him get the um, Vengevine going. And there's a good chance that next turn he would have turned on the Vengevine. So this way I just have to deal with a hollow one. Also kills the flashback of Ancient Grudge if he's got it. So that's a actually relevant upside. Flame by app. Oh good. The rest in peace killed the, the um, whatever you call it.
So this isn't looking particularly great here, but I suppose mulligans to five never do. I do think I can salvage it though if I draw a galvanic blast next turn, blast the hollow one, then I just have to deal with a couple darky one power menace creatures. If he's got like goblin lore into goblin lore or something though and just pumps this by seven, six, I'm just gonna die. not playing the Springleaf Drum because I need to hold up the Ornithopter to block. I'm planning on double locking some menaced creature, pumping with the Overseer. And then the turn after that I'll have blockers for the Hollow One. Ooh, that's not good. I really need the lifelink. Cannot afford cannot afford to let it die. If his next card is a nothing, I think we're in okay shape. If it's a something, I think I'm dead. Like I can't beat bolt here. You got a bolt. That is a lighting bolt. No, oh, that's a goblin guide. Galvanic Blast on top. Phew. So I suspect him of having bolt. Especially since he's thinking about that for so long. So. What does it look like if I trade the Overseer for the Guide and chomp the Hollow One? Next turn, I draw a Galvanic Blast. He bolts one of my things. I kill the Hollow One. If I don't take that line, and I just chomp the hollow one, I take two down to six. I think I think I can survive without throwing away the overseer if I do this.
Glad I don't need to draw that. <sighs> so I'm blocking the... Blocking the guide and taking two. I just have to pray he didn't draw anything particularly good. Well, this one's gonna be close. <laughs> I'm dead to any removal. I'm dead to any bolt. I'm dead to any hasty creature. I'm dead to any reach of any kind. Discarded the stomping ground to the neonate. Interesting. That's very curious. Because that just made my life a lot easier. Although, if he drew a removal spell, I'm still dead to it. was a close game. Well, you can't always win off of Mold of Five, right? This looks like a lot, a lot more like a hand that I can keep. It doesn't have a lot of punch though. Still gonna play the Ravager on turn one, just to be more mana efficient if I draw something useful. See, here's where a Karn would be amazing, right? Just like turn two Karn, what, what you gonna do? I just made like a six six or a. Yeah, 6-6 six, six and have a Planeswalker behind it. Uh, I guess it'd be a 5-5, five, five, but still. It would be so nice. So nice to have Karn. No bench finds, that's nice. One hollow one. One hollow one, all right, I can deal. Ah, yes, ah, yes. This is satisfactory. I'm leaving the Ravager untapped just in case he does something that makes me want to do shenanigans. It's 
very unlikely that I'll thump the Ravager big enough to kill the Hollow One. But it's a thing I should think about. And I doubt he's going to let the Vault Scourge live. He's much more likely to point removal at the ra uh, the Vault Scourge than the at the Ravager. Because he just can't outrace a plated Vault Scourge. Ooh, a Citadel. I like that. Uh, I'm not going to go in on killing the Goblin Guide here. Actually, I probably should have. So, because he's holding Bolt, so... Oh, I regard it as extremely likely that my opponent is holding Bolt in hand. So, my plan is... Plate the Vault Scourge. drum. I'm going to eat the drum and the citadel. Move the Ravager counters to the Vault Scourge. You know, that was probably stupid. Because I didn't do the math, but maybe I had lethal. I might have had lethal by shifting the plating to the Ravager and eating the Volscourge. I believe that's probably true. Wow, that's kind of embarrassing. Uh, not particularly relevant, because his chance of winning from me gaining 10 life is really low, but... Still kind of sad. I really should have caught that part. Um, I was so set on the, like, oh, I'm going to gain 10 life and I'll win. I mean, he's still got three lethal threats and 22 damage to face down and 22 damage to survive. And, yeah. All right. He's dead anyways. But, um, like... 90% sure I missed lethal the previous turn. Oh well. Uh, yeah. Alright, thanks for watching.